guys, what's up? It's Joe Reddy from Reddy's Rides. I'm in one of my favorite backyard parking spot locations because guess what? We have one interesting vehicle for you. This is a 2022 Volvo XC40 Recharge. But before we get into this fully electric small SUV, let's talk about what's going on here, Volvo. They have been in the industry for decades, really made a name for themselves when it comes to that safety features that they've developed over the years. Now, of course, things have been changing, not only for the auto industry, but definitely for Volvo as well. And they have promised to really move towards that area of electrification. Now, the XC40 being one of their smaller size SUVs is one of those hot sellers for people that want that versatility, but also don't want some large oversized vehicle. And now with this 2022 recharge, we're talking about full electrification. So what kind of vehicles would this XC40 recharge go up against? Well, obviously the main player, the one that always comes to everybody's mind is gonna be that Tesla Model Y, but there are others, the Jaguar I-Pace, the Audi e-tron, and then of course the new Mercedes-Benz electric SUV QB chassis. Now with this Volvo XC40 though, they're still bringing that unique style that only their brand knows how to do when it comes to their background, but it also brings that power from not only one, but we have two electric motors and of course a lot of other features to make this a standout. So let's go ahead, let's find out. Of course, we're gonna put it up against the big player in this segment of the industry, the Tesla Model Y, and find out is the XC40 the better electric SUV for you and your needs? Let's go ahead and dive into our 2022 Volvo XC40 Recharge. Right off the bat, what I love about it, it looks like their standard XC40. Nice proportions, great overall style. Now, when you look at the front of the business, you are gonna, of course, get full LED headlights, daytime running lamps, and turn singles. I really dig what they call Thor's hammer with their daytime running lamp and turn single. Very unique, makes it stand out from the rest of the crowd. You work your way down, we do have lower LED fog lamps, just a little bit of flat black around that opening and on the bottom portion here, but I'm really digging this silver gray color with the metal flake in it. It really has a nice kind of glimmer to it. Now, as we come across the front, I'm kind of digging it. Even though it's all monochromatic, I'm kind of digging how you still have that traditional Volvo grill with the badging. Remember, this all has to do with the seatbelt, them developing that seatbelt technology, the Volvo name, and you have a forward-facing camera. This does have a water-cooled lithium-ion battery pack that obviously resides in the lower portion of the chassis. But I think from the front, I'm digging how it looks like a Volvo SUV. I think that's gonna help make uh, people kind of have that connection when they're crossing over with this crossover SUV into the electric realm. Now on the lower portion, we do have functionality, some flat black and just a little bit of gloss black on that lower lip, but definitely something that when you're driving on the road, people take notice of this XC40. Now when you get up onto the hood, Simple, clean body lines. One of the things that I like more, slow, more so than the Tesla is the fit and finish. Some of the panel gaps on a Tesla, it's like you could take a hockey puck and stick them in between those gaps. If you notice, all of the gaps where the hood meets the front grill and everything, everything is nice and super close together as you would expect from this brand. I like the way you have the design that starts around the headlight housing, creeps up onto the hood, and then curves right to the A pillars, super clean. And then as we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? You're gonna notice these nice, large machined aluminum wheels, machined there with some gloss black. It's a 20 inch wheel, 235 on the width, 45 series sidewall. My only zonk is I wish they would have painted everything this beautiful color instead of having the flat black. Let me know what you think about that. Put it in the comment section if you think that they should have painted this. But remember, this is all wheel drive. We have an electric motor driving the front wheels. We have an electric motor driving the rear wheels. And of course, you're gonna get that great braking capability, nice, large, fully ventilated rotors, of course, 
And I like the clean design of the wheel, 20 inch wheel works well with the rest of the vehicle. Now, as we come down the side, you're gonna have color matched on the mirror caps. You got your turn singles nicely built in. And let me show you, it's kind of cool how when you lock it, I got the key fob here, when you lock them, it's just gonna fold everything in very nicely, super clean. So there we are locking them, nice electric folding. We have that two-tone color motif with the black roof. I like the way they went gloss black only on the bottom of the window treatment. You are gonna get color matched on the door handles and then flat black along the bottom. I think one of my favorite styling cues is this indentation that they make along the bottom section. Gives it enough depth to where it doesn't just look like a slab sheet of metal. You do have gloss black roof, roof rails close to the roof. We got a panoramic sunroof and they blacked out the shark fin antenna. So nice to see that nice color combination. We got the recharge name. Remember, this is specifically for the EV, which we have. And then of course, you're gonna have your charge port door located cleanly, plug it right in at your house, at the office, at the Whole Foods parking lot, and then you're good to go. Wrapping around back, love the way they do the lighting. Large LED taillights, very unique to Volvo. You do have a nice long roof spoiler. I wish they would have got rid of this guy. So we are gonna zonk that rear wiper. It would have been nice to tuck that. There's so much room underneath here. Tuck it underneath, but very, very classy and clean. The Volvo name, XC40. And then of course we got Recharge Twin. When you hear twin, we're not talking about your next door neighbor having twins. We're talking about twin motors. Motor out back, motor out front, and then all the way down on the bottom, some flat black and then some gloss black to wrap it up just like we had on the front side of things. I even like the way they work the reflectors. Instead of just putting a square or a rectangle, nice style. But why don't we go ahead, let's talk about horsepower on this XE40. All right, guys, we're gonna pop the hood. I know you probably wanna see the electric motors, but when you pop the hood, let me show you what you're gonna get. You're actually gonna get a lot of plastic cover, but here's the great news. Well-engineered, Volvo has this amazing door. You lift it up and you have storage for either some boxes of Twinkies or you could put your charging equipment. You can also put your charging equipment under the cargo floor at the rear. But what is powering this XC40 recharge? We have our two electric motors combined produce 402 horsepower, 486 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to a direct drive transmission, zero to 60 in 4.3 seconds, top speed around 150 miles an hour. When we're talking about range, you're looking at a range of 223 miles. We got that liquid cooled lithium ion battery. And if you're wondering how much does this weigh, 4,791 pounds, 85 MPGEs in the city, 72 MPGEs on the highway. And like I was saying, we could compare this to our Jaguar I-Pace, the Audi e-tron, the Mercedes-Benz EQB, and then of course the top gun, the Tesla Model Y. But why don't we go ahead, let me throw it into reverse so you can hear what the backup sounds for pedestrian alert are gonna do. Hi guys, we're inside this 2022 Volvo XC40 Recharge with the twin motors. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been looking at EVs. I understand that's the direction that we're going in with the auto industry within the whole world. Kind of getting sick and tired of seeing so many Teslas. I really don't want a Tesla. I don't like the way they operate. I don't like the way they look but I am liking this Volvo and I used to have an XC40. So kind of feels familiar. How much is it though? The way that this one is optioned, you're looking at an MSRP right around $59,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Love the nice style. You're going to have soft touch material. I'm really digging the material that they put right by the door handle. 
It's got a nice shimmer to it in the sun. It almost looks like some type of computer chip or something like that, which really kind of fits well with the whole electrified uh, theme. You have the optional Harman Kardon sound system, very tasteful speaker grill cover, and then the rest of the armrest is all smooth material, no gloss black around the switch gear. Door pocket is really unique in its shape. You can get about seven packages of Swedish meatballs from Ikea in there and a bottle of Swedish fish soda, which is only available in certain parts of the world to wash it all down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, they did a great job with the AC vents. Classy, sporty, and stylish. There's more of that really cool design. Like I said, I'm digging it because it's not gloss black, it's not carbon fiber, it's something unique to this specific XC40 recharge. We get to the infotainment side of things. Now yes, when you go Tesla, you're gonna get a larger screen, but I don't know if larger is better in this case. The nine inch infotainment system is vertical setup, so it's the same arrangement, but I actually like the way it's integrated very cleanly. Now, the operating software is actually done by Google Automotive, Android Automotive, but it works well with Android devices and also with your Apple CarPlay. Now, we have our Google Maps up here. I can hit the charging stations icon and it shows us where our closest charging stations are here in the Clearwater, Florida area. And then of course you could scroll or you could use the buttons, whatever you want to do. And then you easily just exit right out. I could go ahead and hit our uh, icon button here to go into things like range assistant. This is really cool because it could show how you're using the energy within the vehicle with that lithium ion battery. We could go into range optimizer, which is gonna adjust things like AC climate to maximize your range. I don't wanna do that right now because it's actually quite warm here in Florida. We go back and you can see all the other app icons that you have going to car status. You can see how everything's checking off. Green, green is good for your tire uh, pressure monitoring system. We go back and then you could also go into cameras. Now what I like about the camera is that the resolution is super clear. I just wish that this image took up more of the nine inches, which would be great. You can do 360. So this isn't like the, the black side of the moon or something, the dark side of the moon. It's just that we have the door open right now, the passenger side door, but you can go to your different camera angles very, very easily. And I kind of like the way they have that set up so smoothly. Like I said, I just wish the image was a little bit larger. Anytime you want to come back to home, you just hit this home button right here in the center. Now we could go into our AC controls. One of the zonks that I have is right now we're on, vo on blower volume level one. If I go to two, it's actually quite louder. And I'm surprised there's not a, a more of a baby step from one to two to three, because here's three. And three really churns it on. So it's kind of crazy that to be able to talk to you without getting blown away, I got to keep it on level number one. Now, what you could do is very easily is you can lock and sync the AC system very easily. As you can see, it's got those easy hand gesture swipe moments, or you could unlock it and now I could adjust for whatever you like. But like I was showing you, you could swipe, you got your timers for parking and your climate control. And then here's all of our setups for the AC system. And then we hit right back to home, which is nice. The rest of it, is gonna be clear and concise to figure out. I go into setup, and then here's, once again, all of our different things like driving assistance, all that kind of stuff, and then right back to our home screen. Put it into reverse. There's our backup camera when we're actually in reverse. I like the way they did slim and trim on the controls here for your radio. You actually have a volume knob, which is great. The funny thing is there's actually no power on off button. They put just this blank here, which I'm going to zonk. Not really loving that. But what I am loving is we got wireless charging plus two slots for Twinkies and you got a 12 volt and two USB C's. So that's the nice thing to see. We got our little compartment here for some Jolly Ranchers, cherry, watermelon, cinnamon, sour apple. Don't be a sour apple. Nobody likes a sour apple around. 
You got your nice uh, material on our shifter. This is for that direct drive transmission. A bit of gloss black, but it's nothing too crazy. Two cup holders. If you're wondering what this is, this is actually a trash can. So that's how Volvo thinks everything through, is you have a nice trash can. You open this up, easily put, I would say, three packages of Swedish fish in there. Get the nice, extra fresh ones so they're nice and soft instead of hard like a rock where you break your molar. Remember when you were a kid and you cracked your rear molar and you had to get a crown put on it? It wasn't fun, was it? So stay fresh with your Swedish fish. Close that down, seats. The nice micro suede material with the piping, the stitch work, nice bolstering. Seats are comfy and they look really supportive. I got electric assist for the passenger. Of course, I have electric assist as the driver. And then we have our one touch operation on our panoramic sunroof. And what's cool is it's actually not a physical button. You literally swipe your finger. So you're just gonna swipe and then that makes it close. Kind of cool just to have those little differences. But why don't you come over here to the business end? I got 12.3 inches I wanna show you of digital screen. Come on over. Hi right, guys, business time on the driver's side. You get two memory seat settings and I love the way they arrange the controls for the seats, especially you know how I feel about that lower lumbar. Really feels good on a long drive. I got plenty of headroom in here. I'm six feet tall and let me show you a fun feature that makes kind of finding information out that much easier. Hey Google, what's the weather like in New Delhi, India? Currently in New Delhi, India, it's 56 degrees with fog. Thursday, it'll be rainy with a high of 59 and a low of 52. So there you go, you can get information and if you're heading over to New Delhi, India, definitely bring your umbrella with you. But let's continue. Nice leather all the way around on the wheel. The one thing I'm not in love with is the horn button. I wish they would have some kind of stitching, maybe a little bit different material, but I like the way they went flat black on all the switch gear. A Little bit of silver. It is manual tilting and telescoping uh, steering wheel, but I did promise you 12.3 inches and I always try to deliver when I promise something. So bam, there you go. You got your 12.3 inches of clear digital display for your instrumentation with the Google Maps in the center. You got your amount of charge left, what uh, you know, gear that you're in, whether you're in drive, reverse, neutral, so on and so forth. And then you have all the other readouts that are easy to see at a quick glance. I think the one thing I'm missing is some type of head up display. I think that would have kind of been a little bit nicer to have some information straight through the windshield so you can focus on the road. But why don't we go ahead, let's get into that backseat area and see if room is compromised in this XC40 recharge. All right guys, backseat time. And what's incredible is the amount of headroom you have back here. Remember, I'm six feet tall. And with that nice flat roof design, even with the panoramic sunroof, plenty of headroom in here. Feels really comfortable. I even like how the door panels come up higher and it allows the window to be at a perfect height, the side glass. Now the backs of the seats do have some plastic and you have those cargo nets, which I wish they didn't have that cargo net. Cause if you put a, you know, a knife or some type of scissor or blade, maybe some razor blades, it's just gonna rip right through that. You do have the same great looking AC vents in the back as you do up front, matching it perfectly. We also have USB-Cs and heated seats back here, two USB-Cs. Love the soft material, really high quality, especially compared to Tesla. And then pulling this down, really nice high. I mean, look at this. So you just sit here, ponder life, ponder E equals MC squared, maybe the Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. But I've done enough pondering. Let's go ahead, let's check out the cargo area and see what we could fit in this XC40. All right guys, time to get in the cargo area, real simple. Nice electric assist, hit the button, rises up. You're gonna be greeted to 49 cubic feet of space with a 12 volt back here. And you'll notice the storage, that was what I was telling you about. You could put your charging equipment back here or you could put your Twinkies, whatever you would like. The only zonk that I have is to put down the rear seats. You have to come over to the passenger doors to do that. But once you do, you'll notice that they fold totally flat, which is great. And that's gonna allow you to be able to get things in out very easily. I just wish you didn't have to run around the whole vehicle trying to get these seats down. Would have been nice if they had handles 
to put down. But you can see how it maximizes that space. Nice and flat, but you know what? It's one thing about the storage. I'm ready to see how this thing accelerates. We got 402 horsepower. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle in our XC40 recharge. All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 Volvo XC40 recharge. I'm gonna come to a stop here, nobody behind us. If you're ready, I'm ready, on throttle. Wow! <laughs> the torque from those two electric motors is pretty intense. I have to admit, remember, we're talking about over 400 horsepower, over 450 pound-feet of torque, really gonna get you going super quick. And as you saw, all grip, no slip from the all-wheel drive since we have the twin motors set up. Now, getting on the highway, super smooth, great sound ending material. And what I love about this Volvo XC40 compared to the Tesla Model Y, it's just everything feels more solid. You know, the last Model Y that we drove here on Radies Rides really had some poor body panel fitment issues, gap issues, and when you drove it down the road, it sort of sounded like a tin can. This though, going over the expansion joints, going down the highway here, very, very smooth. And remember, we do have 20 inch wheels, which a lot of people think just because you go to a 20 inch wheel means that the ride is gonna be super harsh and noisy, it's not. It's really smooth in here. Getting to the infotainment system is so well within reach. And even though, like I said, it's not like a 42 inch screen, having the nine inch vertical set up, this is nine inch vertical done right. Some of the other brands have also tried this and don't do it as well, but this setup is very, very intuitive. Like I said, finding those charging stations, which is gonna be important for people uh, daily commuting in one of these, especially if you have to go a little bit longer distance, nice and just clear and makes sense. I think that's the key too, is that everything makes sense and how it's organized. On top of that, I got my Google Maps in front of us. You got your speedometer and then you got your charge use, which is great. But visibility because of the shape and the side mirrors is spot on the money. I like the weight and how the steering feels. It's very, very quick and direct. I mean, I feel like this thing could change lanes very, very quickly. And I think that's just gonna help with the overall driving enjoyment. You got the regen braking, and it shows you that when you're on the brakes, how it's recharging that battery. That's more technology that, guess what, was developed first on a Formula One racetrack and then has trickled into the vehicles that we drive on a ver on a regular basis. All right, guys, getting back out on the highway. Are you ready? I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. <laughs> I tell you, that is the part of the EV culture that really is the most fun, is that instant torque. You're not waiting for revs. You're off and running. The only challenge with that is, is that it does get old after a while. I mean, you can only floor it so often while you're driving. But I think compared to other EVs, I really like the way that this one has been done, especially with the twin motor setup and the familiarity. I feel like I'm in a traditional XC40 with an internal combustion engine, but here we are, full EV. I'm telling you, this thing gets up and goes. Very, very surprising how it drives and how smooth it is. Seats are comfy, especially with the materials that they're using. And then you're getting all the safety features, of course, which is very important. The lane keep assist, the blind spot monitoring, emergency braking, all that great technology. But hopefully this has been a nice overall review on what this XC40 recharge brings to the table in the electrified world. We're gonna get back to where it all started and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. Right, guys, it's been one heck of a day with this 2022 Volvo XC40 recharge. I definitely wanna thank everybody over at Volvo for allowing Radies Rides access to this press fleet vehicle. Let me know what you think. Would you go XC40 recharge? Do you think they bring enough for the money or are you gonna go with the Tesla Model Y? I'm dying to find out where you would be spending your electrified money. But until we meet again, if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. 
If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click that link in the description. Get yourself some Ready's Rise merch. Got to give it up to the camera woman who just electrifies all of our lives with her great camera skills. Show Lori some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.